Hey y'all, another day, same jammies. Don't judge me. Same spot in the bed. Don't judge me. Anyway, I am about to laminate some papers for school. I made some of them double-sided just so I could pick and choose what vibe I'm going for when I put up the posters and then also so I can kind of switch out uh, based on, you know, when I get the urge to switch, which is about once every quarter, I get the urge, the itch to change up my room. So I can just flip them on the back. So here's one side, here's the other side. Um, first of all, I'm Amber. Nice to meet you if you're new. Um, if you're a returning viewer, hey y'all, welcome back. I forgot, I'm, I've been out of touch, y'all. <laughs> I'm be real honest with you. I've been out of touch with recording and editing and all of that, but fear not, fear not, I'm gonna get better. So I am getting ready to move. I am going to head out in a little bit to go hang out with my fiance for the last time at his place in Humble. Um, because I will get to hang out with him at home in exactly one less than a week from today. Uh, we will be moving in together on Thursday. It's currently Saturday, uh, but we probably won't actually stay the night at our new place until Friday of next week uh, because that's when we're going to pack up all of the vehicles, drive on over to Pearland and move in. So I'm really, really excited. I go pick up the keys on Thursday. Um, I actually leave school early. So I'll pick up the keys. I'll make sure that the power is on, turn on the air, um, just so we not too cold or too hot. Uh, but I'll leave it at a reasonable temperature because electricity bills. <laughs> and then I'll probably like take some stuff with me to school. Once I get the keys, I'll unload and then I'll probably come home, load up some more stuff and take it back and then that'll be it for Thursday. Um, I'll probably take my clothes, my makeup, and maybe my bookshelves. So I'm in my mind, if I can start taking some of the bigger stuff now and some of the loose pieces, then that takes less time from the gentlemen who are going to be coming. And by gentlemen, I mean my brothers-in-law. Um, they're going to be coming to help my fiance move my stuff and I'd rather them just focus on boxes and bins as opposed to having to carry my heating press or carry my plants, worry about my makeup bins, like that's stuff that they shouldn't have to worry about. My clothes, I'm going to load in my mom's car. She's off next Friday. So worst case, I might need her to help me by uh, being at my apartment for AT&T to come and install the internet. So that's pretty much all I have for this morning. I need to remember to call at and first thing on Monday morning to try to hurry up and get an appointment for Friday. I already know my fiance is not going to be here for it, <laughs> being in that apartment without internet. And I don't blame him. <laughs> Everything is re relying upon internet. My mom just ordered us a tree. <laughs> so we're going to get a seven foot tree. At first I asked for a six foot tree, but my fiance is 5'10". <laughs> and my mom was just like, the tree is his height that's no fun <laughs> so she ordered us a seven foot tree she's so kind and generous she's actually out shopping right now i think she's feeling inspired to try to like find us some christmas stuff she asked me for my theme and i told her that it is nightmare before christmas some of my nightmare before christmas stuff is actually in my halloween bin so i just need to make it a point to remember to grab my stuff out of there because that's the theme we're going to be going for for christmas so I'm going to start looking for what I can see on Amazon and different other places, other places, and then just go from there. I just need to figure out how to best maneuver these bins out of my room. I'm going to go ahead and actually start stacking them up in the living room. Personally, I, I'm really not in the mood for having to drag anything at this time. Um, so I probably won't do that today, but I will go ahead and start taking out my braids. My hair is oh, my hair appointment is on Wednesday. So worst case, as long as I have my braids out by Tuesday, um, I should be good to go. I just may not stay for the basketball game on Tuesday. Hey y'all, it's Amber. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Whether you're a first time visitor, returning viewer, subscriber, welcome, welcome. I am happy to have you. So I am currently on my way to school. 
and I'm gonna stop at Jack in the Box to get myself some <laughs> breakfast, which is not technically breakfast and would make most people's stomach hurt, but my stomach, for whatever reason, cannot handle ice cream in the morning, but I can definitely handle some tacos and fries, grease in the morning. <laughs> Anyway, so I am on my way to school. I need to make a few copies, and I still didn't go down to my storage to get my Christmas decor, or the rest of it at least, but I do have one bag in my back seat, uh, in my trunk, but I told my mom she could use it if she wanted it, so if she doesn't want it, I'll go ahead and put it in my classroom, and you know, I kind of use that as like a talking point every year and be like, hey, this is where y'all can put my gift students, right here in the mailbox. We'll see if she wants it or not. I think she said she's ooh, probably just gonna go shopping, which is fine. But I don't have much, but what I have, I offer to her. So that's what I have going on this morning. Other than that, I just need to make some copies. I have a meeting with my principal today um, about a situation with a coworker that went down almost a month ago. So to be honest, like I'm really over the situation, but. Um, there has not been a mediation to take place, and truthfully speaking, like, I'm not interested in a mediation, but I am a professional, and so um, I'm going to do what my principal advises and or requires, and I'm moving on with my life. I'm about to stop here at Jack in the Box and get myself something to eat, and then I will check in with y'all shortly. See, y'all be proud of me. I ain't abandoning y'all. I came back for y'all. Anyway, I am updating my grade book and grading essays for my students that they did three weeks ago. Now, I usually pride myself on quick turns arounds, uh, turnarounds for my grades, but listen, <laughs> this essay got the best of me because I had my kids do it, my students do it while I was out and we had just been preparing for their district exam. So I didn't get the chance to grade it and I definitely wasn't working. Uh, during my Thanksgiving break. So, there's that. I think I'm getting an 80. Um, so, I'm trying to finish up grading. Like I said earlier, I have a meeting with my principal. I don't know what's going on with this lighting, but y'all work with me. Y'all get the point. Y'all can see me. So, like I said, I have my meeting with my principal at 2. So, that's in about an hour and 10 minutes. Um, I'm about to run to the restroom, but I'm also on standby in case my fiance needs me to come and relieve him so that he can run to the restroom. Okay, two classes are done. What is going on? I have my new jacket here and I'm gonna probably put that on because it's a little cold in this building. And it is about to be passing period. So I am going to step out in the hallway just so that I can be a hallway presence and deter any foolishness that may be taking place in the hallway. Uh, but once I finish that, I will be back. And I think I'm kind of in the mood once I finish grading these papers to start redecorating my classroom. So I wanna finish this board over here, put in the quotes up. I also want to put these little signs up and just kind of figure things out. I have some um, author signs that I need to put up and then I have some inspirational quotes that I am going to put up as well. All right, y'all, I am back. I had my meeting with my principal. I ended up getting kicked out of my classroom. <laughs> it has just, it's been a great day. Don't get me wrong, but it has been a day, quite a day. I've been working in my small groups today and I think that went pretty well. And I just share some rationale behind why my students are having to work with me. And I just let them know they're gonna be working with me every day for the rest of this week um, because we need to be able to make more gains than we've made thus far. And they're, they're not meeting their goals and I need them to. Um, and they were very receptive to that feedback. Like they didn't give me any attitude, any pushback, nothing like that. So I would say that today was successful. Um, I challenged their thinking. I pushed them. I didn't do the thinking for them. So we're just going to keep this up. Um, I'll probably work with 
a different group next week that may or may not include the students that I've worked with today. And that is okay. Sorry, let me turn that off. Um, other than that, I am about to go home and make sure that I have officially packed everything because I am going to bring some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and load my car with my Christmas decor from my storage. So I need to go ahead and head to my storage. And then I also want to, I want to load some other stuff that I can leave in my fiance's truck and I'll get that on Thursday once I take the keys get the keys to the apartment that way we can just kind of get like a head start on stuff so i'm gonna be moving more of my fragile things i will not be putting any of my fragile belongings in his car just because he has a heavy foot and that sometimes includes pressing the gas and pressing the brakes and i would just hate for something of mine to be broken um and at least if i break it I have nobody to blame but myself. So we're just going to avoid any tension and conflict. And I am just going to transport all of my sensitive, delicate items myself. But what I think I am going to do is um, go ahead and bring our clothes and stuff to the school. And then that's just what I'll have him. Mm, maybe not. I'll bring some of my book bins. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. But I'll check in with y'all when I get home. And update. I never actually ended up putting up anything in my classroom because I ended up getting kicked out of my classroom. So I'll see y'all when I get home. Hey, y'all. It is moving day. So I'm only working a half a day today. So I'm, I'm teaching my first and second period but i have court coverage for my advisory and my fourth period i don't have a third period i am leaving my friend starbucks now this is probably going to be the last time i come to the starbucks unless i decide to come back tomorrow which i highly doubt um just because i'm gonna have to once again get up load my car and all of that and i plan for it today so I have no plans for that tomorrow. So what I think I'm going to do is stop and get myself an energy drink um, on my way home tonight. Um, because I go pick up my keys this morning and my mom and I are going to unload our cars. So I pretty much packed all of the fragile stuff in our cars. And then she's going to have to go back to work. And I'm going to come back here home and grab some more stuff. Like, I think I'm going to probably grab the nightstand and my bookshelves, my luggage, and pull down my memory boxes from my closet and just do one final sweep and make sure that I have everything that I need. I'm going to also go ahead and break down my bed today. So I guess I should say this evening because after 5 o'clock, <laughs> I'm going to probably be done. I leave school at like 11.45, so... I should get a lot accomplished today and then my fiance and his brother they are going to get more of the heavy stuff tomorrow that's all i have for now I, i'm not really talking about much of anything when i get to school this morning i need to figure out if i want to just make the work 100 percent digital or if i'm gonna make it physical and what i think i'm going to do is just leave it digital so I don't have to stand at the copy machine and make any copies and that way it'll give me time to write my sub plan for fourth period and to just get myself mentally prepared for this move so I think that's what I'm gonna do I need to also finish grading some short constructive responses for my fourth period and get their grades updated and I'm gonna give them some fiction practice today because I need another grade for them ay 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 y'all i'm breaking and i got a whole bunch of fragile stuff in here so i'm like driving extra cautious today i need to finish a couple of things before i leave today tomorrow is early dismissal so we won't have class per se but you know i just still need to figure out what is going on and in the process try to remain calm have a wedding in the back of my mind and just keep seeing the dollar signs pile up onto my plate because adulting is expensive <laughs> Anyway, y'all, so I'm going to ride and listen to my podcast, and I'll check in with y'all later. It is time. I'm heading to the apartment to get the keys and to start unloading my car. Look like my help is backing out. She has some stuff going on. Look like I'm on my own, at least for now. So I'm going to go and unload my car and 
if she doesn't text me by the time I finish, I'm just gonna come back and get my stuff out of her car. I was waving bye to my fiance, y'all. I told him I'd see him at home. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know I don't really seem to exude the bubbly energy that I feel on the inside, but just know on the inside, I am turning cartwheels, I am doing backflips, I'm doing toe touches and herkies, all of that. It was supposed to be really, really bad weather, and I'm so grateful um, that it is not. I hope that it is not bad weather again tomorrow because we're moving like our bed and the mattresses, box springs, stuff like that. And Lord knows, nobody wants to be bothered with having to move in the rain. So I'm just really hoping and praying that all is well. I'm really, really excited, y'all. I'm so excited for us to start a new chapter together, for us to finally, y'all, like my boyfriend and, oh, the fiance and I have been talking about moving in together and living together for over a year now we first started kicking around the idea when i had renewed my lease at the apartment that i'm moving out of with my mom and i was just like no we're not in the space or position or you know been in that relationship long enough for us to have moved in that at that point it worked out how it needed to everything was done in God's timing it is perfect because it is God's timing and I cannot be more excited to spend the rest of my life with the love of my life my best friend my boo thing the next time I see y'all I will have keys in hand and I will be showing y'all around the empty apartment see y'all in a little bit all right y'all we got the keys we have a little foyer hallway I'm thinking of making this a gallery wall for when our guests come in. The alarm code light garage door. Our Christmas tree in the net box. I'll wait till my fiance gets here for that. I put my heat press there, but <laughs> we'll move that. We have the hallway closet, AKA the soccer closet. The kitchen is here, our pantry, bigger than I envisioned, stove, counter, refrigerator, cabinets, sink, washroom is in here, I can envision that this is going to be my little reading nook. The apartment is flipped opposite of what I thought it was gonna be, so I'm having to readjust. We'll get some bar stools for there. Our living room. We'll probably mount the TV over here. TV stand or TV console there. Maybe a little chair for that area, or maybe that's where we'll put our Christmas tree. I think actually that's where we're gonna put our Christmas tree couch here maybe an additional seat or something probably the patio is raining so i'm not gonna step outside but y'all get it bathroom unfortunately it only has one sink hi but we'll make it work so this is the bathroom. They cleaned in here very thoroughly. I can still smell the bleach. Water heater closet. This is my closet. I don't know where the light switch is. Oh, here it is. Okay. My closet. Not bad. I'll probably get a shoe shelf or something on one of these sides. We'll figure it out. The bedroom with nice, beautiful vacuum lines. I can definitely appreciate that. And my fiance's closet. 
Likewise, we'll get him some shoe shelves or something so he can put his shoes because he actually has a pretty nice size shoe collection. So that is the apartment. I am about to start unloading my car. So yeah, I'll pray my strength. <laughs> All right, so I just finished unpacking my car. I am about to go to the dollar store and get a couple of things. More specifically, I'm going to go get some shelf liners and the dollar store will probably be my cheapest bag because I don't need the best of the best. I just need something to put down on in the drawers and on the cabinet shelves just because it's a part of my obsessive compulsive tendencies and I just have to, <laughs> I just have to have it. 